appreciate you coming here today. All right, so these calluses are your biggest issue yes. that you're having? All right. Yes. You've had them for some time. What's a while? About how long would you say? A couple of years. A couple of years, okay. And this is your first time coming to a podiatrist about it? Yes, Very first time. All right. So, so how long have you been watching the channel? I've been watching the channel since, uh, I think, November of last year. Okay. I appreciate that. Appreciate you participating with us here today. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I have everybody coming to you soon. <laughs> I, yeah, I like that too. Concerning these calluses, what have you been doing for it at home? I've just been trying to, um, I went to the uh, beauty supply, like I was selling, mm -hmm. to try to get this little um, tool to break them down on my own. Mm -hmm. But, you know, didn't work well. And right. then, you know, when they go get pedicures, like, that didn't work well either. It helped a little. Mm -hmm. But, like, they come back, like, too soon after. How often were you getting pedicures done? Probably, like, every, I'd say, two to three weeks. Every two to three weeks? Gotcha. Yeah. Now, you were telling me you, was, you were using some, uh, Moisturizers and things like that at home. What what were you using exactly? It was um, it's this new gold bond lotion that um, just came out. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture of shea butter, cocoa butter, and I can't remember the other thing in it. So okay. That's what I use on my feet. And did you find uh, that it was helping? Yes, it like it helps for like say like I put it on every night after I get out the shower. Mm hmm But like in the morning it's dry again. Gotcha. What about uh your shoes or things that you put in your shoes to help um, uh, decrease the pressure? Um ten shoes like every day. Mm -hmm. So I don't wear the same shoes every day. Good. Have you tried to put anything inside the shoes, like insoles or anything like that, or pads to help relieve the areas? No, I haven't tried that. Gotcha. That's definitely going to be what you're going to need next. So what kind of um, insoles do you recommend I get for my shoes? Well, if we look at the pattern of your calluses, right there, it's, just a spe it's a specific pattern that you have, weight-bearing pattern. So it's across the ball of your foot, down the sides here and the heel, and same on your right foot. No involvement of your the middle of your foot or your arch at all. So you would need something that's gonna redistribute the weight across the entire bottom of your foot. Okay. All right, because what you're, what you're having is a lot of weight put on the outside of your foot and on your heel, okay. both sides. So you're gonna need something more custom uh, made out of a mold of your foot or of your feet to go inside your shoes to help more evenly distribute the weight. Oh, okay. All right, so we will uh, write a script for you to get that done as well today. On both sides? Yeah, the exact same pattern on both sides. Mm -hmm. So is it on YouTube for you to see? I see it all the time. Okay. Yeah. So give me a little bit more backdrop into your... Um, your, uh, your weight loss journey? Um, what happened with like, okay, it's like, I had a great athletic mm -hmm. I start gaining all the weight. Maybe like 180 pounds. Um, but it was solid. Mm -hmm. You know, like muscle, muscle. So, I, um, I played basketball. So, I played basketball, softball, mm -hmm. played football, did it all. So what happened was my, um, my grandma uh, began to get sick, so I took on the test of taking care of her on my own for um, 11 years. Mm -hmm. So I was pretty much more in the home than outside the home, so that's when the weight gain stopped. Gotcha. And a whole lot of other issues came on with the weight gain. Mm -hmm. uh, 
like obstructed sleep apnea, high blood pressure was out of control, mm -hmm. and a whole lot of other stuff. So I had to do something. What was your What was your maximum weight? What did you get up to? My maximum weight was uh, four hundred and thirty pounds. Wow. So um, two twenty-five right now. Fantastic. And how did you get down to that now? Um, changed my diet. Mm -hmm. You know, well, you know, the surgery is just something that helps you along the way, but you have to you have to change your mindset. All right. Which procedure did you have? The gastric sleeve. Gastric sleeve? Okay. And that was how long ago? That was in 2017. So you had the... Let me wipe it up a little bit. So you had the gastric sleeve. Yes. You lost that uh, over 200 pounds? Yes. Over what time period? Um, it was over like a... Uh, I'd say it took me four or five at least nine months. Nine months, okay. So, to the point, my goal is 200. 200, okay. So what uh, positive benefits that have you had so far? The positive benefit is like, at first, I couldn't even walk a block without stopping. Mm -hmm. Now, I get up and walk every day, morning and evening. I can walk two to three miles without stopping. Oh, that's fantastic. And what type of uh, dietary changes have you made? No fried food, no bread, no sugar. Um, I just changed my whole lifestyle. I pretty much eat chicken, fish, um, those are the I don't eat pork, I don't eat beef. Mm -hmm. So, so, yeah, so were those difficult know. changes for you at first? In the beginning, it was just like, um, I wouldn't say if it was difficult, it's like when you see things that you know you can't have, it's mm -hmm. just, I could say just like mind over matter. Gotcha. So once you get your mind together, it's like anything else, it's like, it really don't matter. Okay. You gotta get that in check first. So that was my goal. Mm -hmm. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Before I even got on the surgery, that was my goal. Okay. Still go uh, just to check in every now and then. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much on my own. Good. Okay. Yeah, you have that, what I like to call mirror image pattern. Mm -hmm. You have the exact same thing happening on each foot and in the exact same pattern. Yeah, we're going to need to have something made for you. Oh, okay. Because anything that you try to find over the counter, or at least most things that you'll try to find over the counter, won't really address your issues. So with everything that's been going on, have you, are you still working or how's it work with yeah, health, the AIDS? Okay. How many clients do you have? I just have one. Just one, okay. So how many hours a day are you, are you working with that client? Eight hours. Eight hours, right? Eight hours. Gotcha. And what are your duties specifically? Mm -hmm. Go to the doctor when it's needed. You know, it's, it's me and somebody else. So she had two people mm -hmm. that works for her. Okay. Don't you have like day and night coverage? 
Yeah, she has like red, um, even Gotcha. And when you're working with her, what type of shoes do you typically wear? I, put, I wear my, um, like gym shoes. Mm -hmm. Like Jordan 5s, Jordan 6s, Mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, that's the whole point of the channel. For people to be educated yeah, no, about what right. we do. Excellent. And that could be kind of a because I was wearing the same shoes every day. Okay. Now, your thickest part, like most people when we see this, is the heel. Because it gets most of the body weight as oh, we're walking. No, just for the edge. That's why typically anything people try to buy from the store really doesn't do the trick for them. Because the issue. He's in multiple areas of the foot. A lot of times when you get something from the store, you know, it'll, it'll focus on one area, it'll focus on the heel, it'll mm -hmm. focus on the arch, right. on the ball of the foot. But a lot of stuff over the counter doesn't really approach the, the entire issue. Which is where having something custom made comes in. Yeah, what to do is send out a prescription to the pet orthist. What the pet orthist is, is a specialist who uh, makes prescription shoes and insoles. Oh, okay. And braces and things like that. So, I think that will work out best for you. Because we write them with, just like any other prescription. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And it'll have specific instructions for them to follow. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, 21 years now. Okay. Now we find out how tickle she was. <laughs> We'll do this every two months. Okay. Make sure that the insoles are doing their job. Keep working on putting the skin down. I'm keeping the skin down at this point. So this is the, the sugar and peppermint oil. I'm sure you seem to use 
right. So this is something else that you can do at home. Get a skin scrub like this and go over these areas about once a week. Do something like this, maybe a couple of days a week. So you put it on and then you take your facial pad and just go over the each area of your foot in circular motion. And that helps to remove the dead skin and the extra layers that tend to build up. Just clean that up. Keep just the skin nice and smooth. And it's relatively inexpensive and easy to do as long as you can reach the bottom of your feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we got the All right, so learned quite a few things here today. All right. Num yeah, number one, you know, there's a lot of factors that go in to these issues. You know, one of them, particularly in your case over the years, has been body weight. But you've done great things to get that in control. And you're continuing to make good strides in that. So in your case, that is a big contributing factor. But with that, you know, you, just, you told me earlier that you're having uh, fewer issues as far as discomfort with your feet. Much less. Since uh, going through your weight loss program. Number two, you got to moisturize, continue to do that like you've been doing on a regular basis, daily. Uh -huh. You don't want the skin to get dry and hard, that just no. perpetuates the formation of the calluses. Number three, wearing the proper shoes and continuing to alternate your shoes like you've been doing. All right. With all this stuff, I think you'll continue to make good progress. I want to send out the prescription for you to get the, uh, the insoles okay. to help you redistribute the weight across the bottom of your feet. We'll see you back in a couple of months and see how things are going. Okay. All right. Any questions? No. Nope. All right. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate no. It. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Okay. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up. To see very interesting cases and my approach and techniques to dealing with them and to learn how you can improve your foot health, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Follow me on social media at DC Foot Doctor. Most importantly, take care of your feet.